I just wanted to thank you again for having me along. I'm honored to work with someone of your expertise. The archaeological pursuits of the Sith and Empire have been separate for too long. It is our common history. We have a shared duty to unearth it. This is strictly a business relationship. I want items of power, and you have the knowledge to find them for me. The path to items of power is paved with pottery shards and broken carvings, but I'll try to spare you the boring bits. From the depths of the ground, history calls us to save it from obscurity. I do my best to answer that call. I can tell you do the same. You remind me of my old mentor, Orcelio Gan. So, you're saying I look like an old man? Oh, no, my lord. I didn't mean... The resemblance is in spirit. I was referring to your love of knowledge. But what am I doing talking when there's work to be done? As we say in the service, the dead aren't getting any younger. So, explain this to me. The tomb of Naga Sadao on Koribam was built by Tulak Horde before Naga Sadao was even born? And that's where you found the Deshard Shadow Killer? And when your master tried to steal your body, you used the artifacts of Tulak Horde to put her being into this Deshard? You forgot the part where I received aid from my long-dead ancestor, who was murdered by Tulak Horde. Kalik. He was one of the most powerful Sith Lords of his time. Perhaps the most powerful. Oddly pro-alien. To think how the Empire might have been different if he had killed Tulak Horde and not the other way around. Darth Zash and I have been talking. Well, when she's around. I would love to speak more with Kemval, but I don't think he likes me. Kemval respects strength. You're a little on the weak side. Well, I'd say that's a matter of debate. They don't give lieutenant stripes to just everyone, you know. But your adventures sound fascinating. Five artifacts of Tulak Horde. I understand you inherited quite the archive from Zash. I would love to see it sometime. I would love to show it to you. Excellent. The quest for knowledge is eternal. If you don't mind my asking... How is it you became, Sith, my lord? The process is completely foreign to me. I had a brother who was Force-sensitive. Darth Maar came and took him to Korriban, but we didn't hear from him again after that. Ungrateful little rat thinks he's too good for us now, my father said. But really, I think he just missed him. Most of the people who go to Korriban to become Sith die in training. You don't know my brother. He never took no for an answer. We Drelic boys might not look like much, but we fight back. Father always wanted one son in the Sith and one in the military. Admittedly, the Imperial Reclamation Service wasn't his first choice, but after all the cursing stopped, I think he warmed up to the idea. Your father is a bit of a jerk, isn't he? The Drillics are a proud family line, and my father is simply the proudest of the lot. The Imperial Reclamation Service shores up the Empire's foundations against the flood of forgetfulness and misinformation that threatens our history. I'd like to see a fighter pilot establish the lineage of a 3,000-year-old Sith Lord with nothing but rocks and a dead language. You and the fighter pilot must bow to the Sith. But who can compare to a Sith, my lord? No one in the Republic or the Empire... You'll never believe what I found. I thought I'd left this behind planets ago. The anticipation is killing me. This is the tooth of a 4,000-year-old proto-rancor. But look, see this? It's some kind of metal. Not cortosis, but very similar. This rancor was tamed. It was my very first discovery. I carry it with me everywhere for luck. I thought I'd lost it when I fell into an old tomb a couple of digs ago. It turned out it was caught in the lining of my pocket. You built that up way too much. Are you kidding? This thing has more secrets than half the Sith artifacts you own. It made my career. Renowned Nagasadao scholar Orcelio Gan caught wind of it and had me assigned to his team. I've been digging up Sith artifacts ever since. Speaking of which, I have some new findings to analyze, if you'll excuse me. 
my lord, remember I told you about my mentor, Orsilio Gan? He took me under his wing after I discovered the domesticated Rancor Tooth. I was polishing the Rancor Tooth and placing it among my things when I noticed a medallion he gave me last time we met. I decided to call him, but none of his frequencies work anymore. One old archaeologist is nothing to me. My lord! With all respect, how can you say that? Dr. Gan is the Empire's premier Nargis Adao scholar. You wouldn't have found the ghost on Hoth without me, and I wouldn't have been able to help you if it hadn't been for Orsilio Gan. When was the last time you spoke to him? It was before I went to Hoth. We met at a cantina on Nar Shaddaa for a little light archaeological talk. He said it was on his way to Malachor Three. That's when he gave me the medallion. It's the last I saw of him. Malachor Three is pretty remote. He probably just fell out of touch. You're probably right. I can't help but think of something odd he said just before we left. He gave me the medallion and said something like, In case you need me. I just thought he'd had too much to drink. <laughs> he did love to imbibe. Does the medallion have anything written on it? No, just old runes. Most of it nonsense. I'm sure it's nothing. You can't keep an Imperial Reclamation Service man down. I guess I'll keep an ear and an eye out. I'll let you know if I discover anything. My lord, I've solved it. I figured it out. I don't understand how I could have missed it. The outer layer of the medallion responds to heat. It melted away and revealed this. It's a heat-resistant casing with a data chip inside. Applying heat to an object like that? You could have destroyed it. Unofficial motto of the Imperial Reclamation Service. When all else fails, try a blowtorch. Actually, that would be disastrous. I did a chemical sampling first. I suspected the medallion was not uniform all the way through. I was right. What did you discover? The chip said he was looking for the tomb of Via Santinus. He said he was going to Malachor III, but everyone knows the tomb is on Alderaan. I believe Orsilio Gan went to Alderaan. I'm going to find him. Did you have any luck finding your mentor? No, my lord. I'm afraid the trip was all for nothing. Orsilio Gam was already gone, and nobody could tell me where. He was definitely in the tomb of Via Santinus. His workmanship was all over the site. But he left no clue that I could find. Next time, you won't be in such a hurry to run off on a foolish errand. Hmm, perhaps it was foolish to go chasing after such a tiny clue. Still, I won't stop looking. Detective work such as this isn't much different from archaeology, after all. It's all about observation and deduction. And Orsilio Gan taught me well. Oh, I almost forgot. I found this in the tomb of Via Santinus. I thought you might find it handy. Um, I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. Via Santinus was a meticulous record keeper. These are the genealogies of all the great Sith Lords of his day. Look, here is your ancestor, Lord Kallig. Bloodlines are very important in the Empire, my lord. Not to mention the historical value. My lord, I think we make an excellent team. Truly, Destiny herself has conspired to bring us together. Oh, great. So I'll never be rid of you. Um, yes. Never mind. Then I, 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 I thought... I, I'm sorry. I was just joking with you. You're an important member of this team, and I value your support. Oh, thank you, my lord. I've learned so much at your side. My archaeologist instincts are honed to a razor's edge, or a pick's point, as the case may be. Cruel nemesis, torment me no further. I surrender. I'm not worthy of finding Orsilio Gan. He was depending on me, and I failed. Are you telling me that the best archaeologist in the galaxy can't figure this out? Best archaeologist? Well, I'm flattered, my lord, but I'm hardly... 
I mean, I, I, I wouldn't say that. I've tried everything. I've even gone back to the medallion to see if my mentor left me any other clue. If the Imperial Reclamation Service knew how many codes I violated trying to decipher this medallion, they'd have me stripped of my rank. Is it possible the solution is not on the medallion itself? Did your mentor give you anything else? The only thing that came with the medallion was the chain, but it clearly wasn't part of the original. That's it. The chain was new when Auxilio Gan gave it to me. That means he's the one who attached it in the first place. Thank you, my lord. I often find when something's difficult, it helps to approach it from another direction. Once again, my limitations are exposed. If you'll excuse me, I must examine the chain more closely. I'm confident it's the key to finding him. My lord! My lord! I've solved it! The chain and the medallion contained a hollow frequency. I wanted you here when I called it. Why would your mentor hide a hollow frequency in the chain? Why wouldn't he just tell you? I'm confident Orcelio Gan had his reasons. Talos, my student. If you are receiving this message, then you have understood the riddle I gave you. I've gone to the tomb of Via Santinus's unnamed apprentice on Aduba VI. I don't understand why, but both Sith and Jedi are after this tomb and its secrets. It's the duty of the Imperial Reclamation Service to preserve this history. If I do not return, come find me and finish my work. Auxilio Gan is in trouble. He needs me. I must find him. This was an automated message. Who knows what has happened in the meantime? I know what could have happened. That won't stop me from going to Aduba 6. I can think of no more fitting place to die than a tomb, but I will do my best to return safely. <clears throat> my lord, I return, but Orcilio Gan does not. He's dead. What caused his death? Doing his work. He was pursued by both Jedi and Sith. He managed to use the tomb's traps against them, but in the process he imprisoned himself. His discoveries are amazing. They will make a wonderful paper. But I can't help but wonder if it was worth dying for. Were there any artifacts of power in this tomb? If not, then no. I suppose you're right. What's the point of going after old, dead things if they don't give you some advantage in the present? No, what am I saying? Orcilio Gan would die if he were alive to hear that. I must continue his work. Thank you for restoring my faith, my lord. You know, I'm not sure I'd go that far. No, my lord. No need to be modest. The historical mind is ever curious and never sated. My lord, I just wanted to thank you again. The wonders I have seen working by your side are more than I could have ever hoped. Truly, you are a paragon among Sith and the Empire. I seek only knowledge. If it serves the Empire, then good. That's precisely what I admire about you, my lord. Your love of knowledge. It's gone out of practice, but there's evidence that certain non-Force users used to pledge themselves as loyal vassals to true Sith. These vassals and their families were bound to the Sith and their family for generations. Will you accept my pledge to you and your heirs? I won't reject an offer of servitude, no matter how pathetic. Yes, I suppose to you it must seem pathetic. To me it is a great honor. Thank you. <laughs>